Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have this smoky, glittery, glamorous eye look. And the first thing I do is always prime my eyelids using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And today I'll be playing with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And the first shade I'm going in with is this light brown shade. And I'm going to blend it all over in my crease going from the inner corner to the outer corner. And the brush that I'm using is a Anastasia Beverly Hills Blending Brush and this just blends really smoothly. The Jaclyn Hill palette is one of my favorites because it has a lot of warm shades, a lot of matte shades which I love and also just a very nice variety of colors. Then I'm going to use this warm brown shade which is slightly darker than the one I used before and I'm just going to slowly build it up by going in with darker and darker colors but I just like to take it slow. I'm not going like first thing with a light color and then straight in with a dark color. I really like to build it up by going slightly darker and darker. If you struggle with blending your eyeshadows, this is definitely something you have to try because it will make it so much easier. Then I'm going in with this brown, orangey, reddish shade, which is so pretty. This is my favorite color from the whole palette. And I'm going to start with blending this in my outer V and then I'm going more towards my inner part of the eyelid and just blending it all over the place. Then I'm going even darker and I'm using this reddish burgundy brown shade and I'm starting up my outer V again because I want the most product to be here because it's quite a dark shade so if I go straight in towards my middle part of my crease sometimes it goes wrong. It's harder to blend out for some reason so I always uh, start at my outer V and then once there isn't as much product left on my brush anymore I go more towards the middle part and yeah this is something I just do to prevent if it goes wrong just like to be safe. Then I'm going to use the Zigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner and I'm going to use this as a base all over my eyelid. When I'm done with applying the eyeliner all over the eyelids, I'm going to use the black eyeshadow from the Jaclyn palette and I'm going to press a little bit of this around the edges of where I place the gel eyeliner and I'm going to try to smudge it out and make it less harsh. Then to blend it out even more, I'm going back in with that warm burgundy brown warm shade, which I don't know the name of. I do have the paper that comes with the palette that has all the names, but for some reason I was too lazy to look up the names. But if you have the palette, I'm sure you know which one it is. I show exactly which one it is, but I was just too lazy to search for the names. I'm sorry, <laughs> but this is a really pretty shade and I'm blending it around the edges. Then I'm going in with this Natasha palette, which I will name, um, I put the name in the description bar. And this is such a pretty shade. It's a very intense metallic silver shade. And I have done a another video with this particular eyeshadow, which I will link down in this video as well if you're really into this eyeshadow color, because it's so amazing. 
and I'm going to use it as a base for my glitter. So now I'm going to use the silver glitter from Certify and I'm applying this with some MAC Mixing Medium Gel. This will really make the glitter stick on the eyelid and it's one of my favorite products to use to apply glitters. So I dab my brush uh, on the eyelid and then I go in with the glitter. But somehow my camera didn't record the whole part, which is such a bummer. But I have plenty of videos where I show how I apply glitter. Now for my eyeliner, I use the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. I did my eyeliner off camera because I used show this in every video and I didn't want my video to be too long, so it turned boring. So now I'm using this NYX pencil for my waterline, which applied really nicely. Um, it's called the Slide On pencil. Well, it's slide on really nice. And I'm going to use some black eyeshadow underneath my lower lash line to uh, make it extra black and smoky. But quite fast, I noticed that I had some fallout and I just applied my concealer, so I didn't want it to get messed up. So I went in with my Makeup Forever Loose Spot, I applied a bit of that underneath my eye area, just so when some of the black eyeshadow falls underneath my eyes, it falls straight on top of the loose powder and I can just wipe it all away. I do have to say this was the first time trying this technique and it worked really easily. So I'm happy I did it because I've seen so many YouTubers doing this. So now I'm going in with this warm brown shade and I'm going to blend it underneath my lower lash line and just blending all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner until I found it well blended out. Found it well blended out. For my mascara, I used the Gifted Mascara from Tarte Cosmetics and for my lashes, I used the Anytude Snobby Lashes. I never really show this part of how I apply my eyelashes because I find it kind of unnecessary to show it in every video. Um, but in today's video, I didn't show the eyeliner, so instead I wanted to show you how I apply my eyelashes. So I apply the lash glue and then I lean them on the eye my own natural lashes and press them against where I have placed my eyeliner. And then I'm just going to press first part so edges of the lash band is stick to my um, eyelid. And I do the same at the other end and then I'm going to press or kind of squeeze my own natural lashes against the fake lashes using a tweezer. So then here you have the end result of the eyes. But today I'm also going to show you how I did my face makeup. I applied my foundation and the concealer off camera. I will also put the name of the products in the description bar. And I'm going to use the MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. Down Lip Pencil. So just like I did in my previous video, I'm going to start with the lips. Just because I feel kind of naked without anything on my lips. I just don't like it. So I start with applying some lip liner. And then I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stripped Liquid Lipstick. And this is my favorite color from Anastasia. Um, I'm very picky when it comes to liquid lipstick shades. Like, I mean, when it comes to nude shades. And there are a lot of colors that doesn't suit me. At least I find it doesn't suit me. But I always search for like the perfect nude with a slight pinky undertone. Now to contour my face, I'm going to use this Sunset 10 bronzer from the brand Mua. And I'm going to apply this on my cheekbones as a contour. And I'm also going to apply it on my ears, on the temples of my forehead. And of course, same at the other side, of course. <laughs> and um, this is a very affordable bronzer. I think it's perfect for fair skin because it has a cool undertone. Uh, but also if you're around a MAC NC30 in foundation, you will love this. Now to bronze up my face, I'm going to use the Makeup Geek Sunkissed Bronzer, which is a little bit more warm. I could have also used this to uh, contour and bronze my face, but I wanted to try the Mua bronzer because I haven't used it before. And I just wanted to see if I like it, and I do, so that's nice. But also, this one is really nice. Now I'm going to use the Ofra Everglow Highlighter. I forgot to make a shot of the product, but... Um, the highlighter has three shades and I used a mixture of the golden and the lightest. And then for my blush, I'm going to use the Tarte Captivating Blush, which is a gorgeous peachy matte blush. 
and I'm applying this on the apples of my cheeks towards my highlighter to kind of make these two products blend into each other. And then here you have the end result. I really hope you enjoy watching this video. I received so many sweet comments on my previous video where I finally showed my face again. So I wanted to continue doing this. That's why I I did a full face video again. So let me know if you like this video. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That would be really sweet. If you have any suggestions for my next video, let me know in the comments. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Things that are coming